And hey man, T-Dub, Bo, Milestone Life, Status is Street, Brimlow, and you are watching the Fro Chronicles, Bo, what up? Um, Mr. Zimmerman, you're, uh, I have signed oh, yeah. the um, judgment that um, confirms the jury's right verdict. Your bond will be released. Yeah, your GPS thing. monitor will be Pop cut off so. when you exit oh, um, the courtroom good. over here. And uh, you have How do you feel about that, man? Okay, thank you. Is there anything else this court can do before blood. we reset for this case? Yeah. Everybody knows that I just court is Oh, the evidence another example of it. See this shit right here? This shit right here? That's why I walk around like I don't give a fuck. Exactly that, right there. Right there. With a capital B. Kill a kid and get away with that shit. That's crazy, man. for our next generation and stuff. We got niggas out here getting killed just for walking around neighborhoods and shit. We gotta understand that the black race, that shit, we gotta unite all the time instead of unite when something bad happened when a white person killed a black person because it's black people killing black people every day. So maybe we change our way as black people and start, you know what I'm saying, coming together all the time. Then probably shit like that wouldn't even happen. I mean, shit is still happening like that, but we'll probably get more justice out of it. You know what I'm saying? Pro Chronicles, man. We just seen the verdict. Man, it's fucked up. Me personally, I think it's all a setup to keep Americans blinded about the fact and the shit that's really going on on the face of this earth, all the evil and negativity that's going on and shit. But all in all, it's all fucked up, man. Just That just go to let you know that. You know what I'm saying? If you a black man watching this, your ass ain't sacred on this American soil. You ain't sacred. So, what I what I say is, man, we need to stop following the laws of humans and Americans and shit, and go back to studying and following the laws of the Most High. Man, man it's like this. Michael Vick went to jail over killing a dog, but this man Zimmerman is going free. Like, it's messed up, man. It just goes to show that the judicial system is messed up. The government, just the whole world is just messed up, period. And, you know what I'm saying, us as black people, we need to wake up and just realize what's going on. Because this shit is, this shit ain't cool, man. It's not. So, that's my take on it. Uh, so, my thoughts on, on, on the Trayvon Martin uh, Zimmerman case are basically that you know, there was definitely injustice that happened, but I also think that the media is just uh, putting this down, you know, blanketing this over us so we don't look at the other issues that are going on in the world and this country. So I think that probably we should just try to stick together and, and, and understand that, that, you know, the, the powers that be are trying to trying to pit us against each other. So we should, we should try to, you know, not do that. View! View pop! <laughs> I'm like, why did they dog. televise this case? And you know the nigga, I wonder how the case would have been if he was still alive, Trey was still alive. Or if they let Zimmerman get on the stand, they ain't even fucking they ain't even fucking, you know. Get him on the stand. Yeah, Zimmerman ain't testified. Right. Anytime if you got somebody that was told not to do something, they do it anyway. And you see what the result is. And the person still get off. That ain't justice, bro. No justice. That ain't justice. Yeah, man. The George Zimmerman, Trayvon Martin case. I didn't even, I didn't stay focused on the case like day for day because I knew from Jump Street that the dude was going to get off. I saw the writing on the wall, daddy being the judge and the, father and the brother the cop and all that shit. So I saw it coming, man. But really, 
this is just everybody focus on black and white. They trying to pin us together. I think they in they trying to probably start some race war shit. But it ain't work with me because I know at the end of the day the root of the evil is the color green. You know what I mean? Ski out. Let me put it for in in this in this instance. Let's say you got a son, 17 years old, walking home at night. You know, it's bad enough that us being African Americans, we can't have something nice without being accused of doing something illegal. So he's in a nice neighborhood, he's automatically accused of being a criminal. 17 year old boy. He's approached and harassed even after the police tell this man not to approach the suspect. The suspect. Uh, he still approach him. So um, they get in a scuffle or whatever. Evidently Zimmerman is losing and he pull out a gun and shoot the man. Well, you started the fight. This is a, a young boy, teenager, that's morally wrong. I feel like he should have been charged for murder just off the fact that he shot a young boy. No, that's, that's my opinion. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Machiavelli train. It's mm. time. There we go. Yo, shout out to Pro Chronicles. Um, you got gas this time? You got a fart? First, I got a fart. Things. None of that. None of that. Pro Chronicles 4 or 4 or 3, one of them other ones. But no. Nah, I really feel like George Gentleman got off. I think I think it's some serious bullshit. He's found guilty. It's no way in hell he should have got off for killing a 17-year-old. And Vic got three years or something or whatever for fighting some dogs. A lady got three years or 20 years for shooting a gun off in the air for no official killing or nothing. I just think it's some bullshit. Thanks a lot, Sanford, Florida, for making a lot of motherfuckers mad. Because that's some fuckery. Zimmerman is guilty. It's kind of messed up how the world is, though. All right, see it's, it's messed up how the world is. So, rest in peace, Trayvon Martin. You still got my support over here. Hey, hey what's up? It's Swisha over here in St. Louis. The other day, Zimmerman was proven not guilty, which is kind of some straight BS. My input on this little situation, man, is this is proof about our country, bro. Our country is fucked up justice system is fucked up so my message to everybody out there read between the lines just this just us you hear me we gotta come together we gotta show everybody what we about because this right here really ticked me off man and it proves that you know what this country don't give a fuck it's all about the money and the dinero you hear me this swish i'm out with you man tune in next time to pro chronicle man to be honest i thought about my son you know what i'm saying like Dude's 30-something, Trayvon, 17. The Actually, the, the part that fucked me up was the dude was on the phone saying, I'm chasing him. To me, I was done right there. If you're chasing somebody, that's not self-defense, you know what I'm saying? So my heart actually just go out to Trayvon family because, like I said, if somebody did some shit like that to my son, it's just getting to me right now. Pro Chronicles, dog. Well, uh, today, downtown for this rally. I ain't even gonna tell you what it's for. We're gonna get the people reactions. That's the video. Mm. 